Pseudometriosis is a complex disease. Here are the top five theories for what might cause it and watch until the end to learn whether or not the estrogen in the combined contraceptive pill worsens your endometriosis. Now, the answer might surprise you. So number five is your genetic predisposition. This has been well documented in family and twin-based studies, but no specific gene has been identified and there are currently no genetic tests available. Number four is cellular metaplasia. So this is when cells change from one form to another and cells from outside the uterus change into endometrial-like cells and start to grow. It could also explain why endometriosis occurs in some women after hysterectomy and in men who are taking hormone treatment. Number three is that stem cells give rise to the disease, which then spreads through the body via the blood and the lymphatic vessels. Number two is environmental factors. So this theory suggests that certain environmental toxins can affect the body, immune system, and reproductive system and cause endometriosis. Animal studies have actually shown the development of endometriosis in animals following exposure to high levels of dioxin. And number one is retrograde menstruation. So imagine the womb as an upside down triangle and menstrual blood usually flows down through the cervix, but in up to 90% of women, the menstrual blood also flows up through the fallopian tubes and into the pelvis. This can result in endometrial-like cells being deposited outside of the uterus where they can implant and grow. However, this theory doesn't really explain the low rate of the disease compared with how common retrograde menstruation is thought to be. One final factor that might also contribute to the growth of persistence of ectopic endometrial tissue is estrogen. Now, we know that endometriosis is dependent on estrogen, which increases the inflammation, growth, and pain associated with the disease, but the relationship between estrogen and endometriosis is complex because the absence of estrogen doesn't always guarantee the absence of endometriosis. And regarding the estrogen in the combined contraceptive pill, there actually isn't a huge amount of estrogen in the pill. And because it's balanced with progesterone, it helps to stop the ovary from functioning and therefore stops the ovary producing a significant amount of estrogen. This helps to prevent flares as the total circulating estrogen is low. Now send this to someone who needs to learn more about endometriosis.